And that brings me to my first guest. Uh, a few months ago, I was in Los Angeles at the ASCAP workshop and uh, hearing some different composers and with a panel run by Stephen Schwartz. And my first guest was a, has become a good friend of mine. She's actually known in Los Angeles for being the premier audition pianist. She has played anybody in LA who knows who's ever auditioned for anything has worked with her. And she's uh, also a terrific songwriter. So I, I heard Stephen Schwartz and a panel of luminaries just praise her. She was the highlight of the entire ASCAP workshop, and I knew her. I was preaching to the choir with me, and I said, I really want you to come up and do some songs, a uh, song of yours here. So I'm opening with Carol Weiss because Carol is one of the top pianists and a great songwriter. You'll hear that wonderful rhyming from this song and from another song. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome my friend Carol Weiss. <laughs> I also need to add that I've, I, the show's called Michael Levine and Friends. In LA often, when Clifford would do it, he said, I've got a bunch of people that want to be in the show. And I'd be like, hello, nice to meet you. Now you're my friend, I guess, because Michael Levine and I friends. But I can honestly say everybody here tonight performing is genuinely my friend. And that makes me so happy to really get a cast who are truly my friends. I'm going to let Carol take over. Carol Weiss. <laughs> However, I also write children's musicals, and um, my goal, if there is one, is to teach children that musical theater exists and will continue to exist. A song I wrote a few years ago comes from a show called The Fir Tree. It's uh, the Hans Christian Andersen Christmas story. On Christmas Eve, mother sits all the children around the fireplace and tells them a story. This particular story is called Edward, the Prince of the Eggs. Now, as often in children's musicals, we ask for audience participation. <laughs> so guess what, kids? <laughs> okay, can you read this? What does it say? Hey! Okay, I don't trust you. Uh, Becky, bring the lights up. Oh. There you go. Now I can see you. Okay, so what's going to happen is this. When I hold this up, you're going to say, Hey! Excellent. <laughs> what can I say? There's some five-year-olds here, I can tell. <laughs> Michael, let's try it. Hey! Bert, the prince of the eggs, thought everything was a bore. He said, I need excitement. I'd like to explore. I And fresh diversion. I think it's time for this little hey. to go on a small hey. excursion <laughs> and hey. go on an hey. excursion. Who well, heard of such a thing? Well, hey. Bert said, "I'll ask the king." So he went to his father, the king, and the king said, <clears throat> "My son, you are." You have no experience. I know what is best. A fish stays in the water and stays in the nest. Eagles have wings to go a soaring, but it's difficult for them to go exploring. Well, Bert said. A silly excuse, maybe you're not so wise. I'm gonna make my exit and get some exercise. But as a brave young yokel set out to explore, he tripped and fell down a whole flight of stairs and tumbled right out the door. When he saw a big cat, if the pussy cat pounced, the hey. would go splat. But the cat was frightened by a thunderous noise and left hey. strolling in the street. He had to scramble to avoid a horse's feet. Da -dum, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum. The horse was pulling a fire wagon to a raging fire. Hey. Edward was headed 
right into it and it looked like our head would expire. No, 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 I'm too young to fry. The water from the fireman's hoses made a cascading river on the ground. But was suddenly swept away and the poor almost drowned. But miracle of miracles, the flood water carried him back to his own front door. And pretty soon, unbeaten, was in his room once more. Work, exhausted and hurt, had finally got some sense. He said, I've learned a lesson at my own expense. I'm through with exploring. I've come back to stay. He married a beautiful princess and lived ecstatically to this day. Carol Weiss! Carol, God bless you. You're going to hear a little more of Carol. How about those lyrics? Really intricate, you know, intelligent. Yeah, you're going to hear a little bit more, more of Carol a little, a little later because um, you'll hear somebody else sing the song of Carol's.